produced from and for young entrepreneurs. This comprehensive, multi-chaptered program takes you from launching to securely growing a business. The world today is so much more friendly to entrepreneurs than it was even 10 years ago. People who are entrepreneurial, they see the world through a lens of opportunity. This program will begin with the information any entrepreneur can use to launch a startup. Within each chapter, the information will slowly evolve to more advanced business practices that even any existing entrepreneur will find useful. How do I know I have a real business? You want to make sure it's something potentially scalable, that it can generate real revenue, and that it's something that at some point can be expanded upon. What are you going to do so that today you'll be in business and if things change tomorrow, you can still shift what you're doing? You gotta get a panel of people together from a cross section of experts who will give you a real honest feedback. Sometimes you have to change your direction and your mission. Maybe you thought you were gonna do X, Y, and Z, but A, B, and C is more lucrative. Every investor cares about a couple of things. One is how much am I giving you? How much am I expecting to get back? And how long is that gonna take? You're not investing in my company. You're investing in me. Let's say you meet someone on the street, or the typical thing is in an elevator. You only have a minute to explain what you do. Um, and what you have to get across in that elevator pitch is who your target customer is, what your product is, and how it helps. So instead of spending twenty-five or fifty thousand dollars on an expensive focus group, you can do that focus group for free if you have a robust Facebook page. And when you're talking to other entrepreneurs and trying to figure out, you know, how do you both further your goals? That's the other negotiating factor. What do they want? What do you want? It's extremely important that companies build an identity and that they build a consistent message. Most successful businesses, they have board meetings, right? No, we have basketball games. For anyone that we hire here in our headquarters, regardless of position, we go over company history, the importance of company culture. Culture is actually the number one priority of the company. I just kind of had a constant string of board of advisors who, who were helping me anticipate my future mistakes or like helping calm me down after I just made a really big mistake. How did you start your business? Where did you get the money from? Based on how we were brought up to now, we are the most likely to become entrepreneurs. We're the most likely to be successful because we're technologically savvy. We understand the realities of the economy we've been given. I think you can start as early as you, you find a passion for something. Um, certainly it's never too late either. You will fall. You will want to quit. It'll be hard, but continue to get up. All right, the person who gets up the most wins. <laughs>